Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the top 6 mistakes people make during mule training. Let's get right into it. The first mistake that a lot of people make is forgetting about this amazing little feature called hyperstats. When you're mule training, what you want to place for a hyperstat is you want to max out your crit rate 100%. So after using your training legion, your training links and everything like that, you want this crit rate to be 100% and if it's not, you want to put some hyper stat points towards it so you have 100% crit rate. And then after you get 100% crit rate, what you want to do is you want to distribute the rest of the points into critical damage and damage. Don't worry about IED, boss damage or any of those. What you want to focus on mainly is just spread it through the critical damage part and damage part and that will help increase a ton of your base damage to help you get closer to one-shotting mobs and clearing mobs faster which leads to better overall exp as you can see at level 10 damage you have 30 percent extra damage which is huge and critical damage of an extra 10 percent so again huge now the second mistake that people make when it comes to training their mules is not maxing out their skill points Skill points is extremely important. You have to get mastery books to max out whatever mobbing skill and whatever passive and active gives you the most bonus. So at Earth Circle, for example, is one of my main mobbing skills as an Evan, which does 320% damage. And if it's not maxed, let's say it's at its base level, it does a lot less, as you can see. Now, same thing for something like an active buff, which is in this case, Blessing of the Onyx. Let's say I don't max this and I leave it at level 10. As you can see, compared to the 80 attack at master level 30, it only gives this much attack. So it's a huge drop off from the max level. And that's why we want to max out all of our skill points. Uh, whether it's first job, second job, third job, fourth job. Make sure you get your mastery books because they will help you in the long run to do more damage. And just to showcase a passive, as you can see here, uh, at master level 20 it gives magic attack plus 30 and critical damage plus 20. Now if magic mastery was at level 1 this is how much it would give. You see the difference? It's a huge drop off so you have to max all of your skill points to get the most out of your training. The third mistake people makes is not using legion grid for training. So as you can see here on my legion grid I have one legion that is for bossing in which I distributed to critical damage, boss damage, IED, buff duration. Most of this is not necessary for training. So this is more of a bossing legion. But I also have a bossing legion grid, a training legion grid for training purposes alone. And for this one, I distribute everything to bonus EXP first. And then I distribute the rest to attack, uh, critical damage crit rate, and whatever main stat I'm training at the time. Or in this case, it could also be magic attack, I guess. But what's most important is you have a training legion that gives you a bonus EXP. In this case, is an extra 10%, which again, every little bit adds up. And again, have critical rates so you can get close to having 100% critical rates before you put it to critical damage, because you are not going to hit that critical damage if you're not critting all the time. So what's important is you have that critical rate going for you, as well as the critical damage that follows after. And the fourth mistake that people make when training is not having the proper link skills for training. So mainly what I'm talking about is obviously you have to train all of your link skills to a decent level. So Aran, absolutely necessary for mule training because it increases the EXP you obtain from each combo orb. Elven Blessing increases the EXP that you get per mob, so extremely useful. And lastly, we have the Evan Link skill, which is right here. The Rune Persistence, which basically increases the duration of the rune. And runes essentially give you 2 times EXP for a short amount of time. And with rune duration increase, you can have 2 times EXP for even longer than what is by the default. And then after you get these EXP link skills, what you want to do is have damage link skills. So things like Bravado, which basically increases your damage against monsters with 100% HP. And Solus, which basically increases your damage 
uh, based on how long you're in combat stats for, or stands for. We also have other link skills like Pirate Blessing, which increases your stats, as well as Xenon links and Hayato links and all these other links as well. If you guys want to check out an in-depth uh, training link video, I have one linked at the bottom of my description. So feel free to click it and you can see a full explanation of training links I would use. So the fifth mistake that people make is not utilizing a full EXP stack. So for example, what I'm mostly talking about is utilizing things like a BT buff, having somebody BT mule for you because BT gives a buff that adds extra 30% into your EXP, which is extremely helpful and it's basically almost like an MVP buff. As well as some people forget to use EXP coupons, so if you guys need a video or a guide on the EXP stacks that you have to use or should use, please check out this video link in the description below. I'll post a link on a video that I did talking about all the EXP stacks that you should be using. Lastly, we have the biggest mistakes of all, which is certain people do not fund hard enough or they fund too much. So ideally what you want to do is at least minimum two-shotting all the mobs that you're going to kill. So I have a full video describing the funding that I do for Legion Mules. But what you want to do is basically have everything 70% traced, uh, basically 10 starred each and have weapons, secondary and emblem at 6% magic attack or attack. And that should be sufficient to carry you all the way to level 200 and be able to one or two shot mobs. Two shots the minimum that you should be aiming for. If you guys need more than two shot to kill a mob, you're not training efficiently. You guys are actually doing it very slowly. Ideally, you want to be one shotting for the most optimal rates, but two shotting is fine too. That is the definite bare minimum. And obviously, you don't have to go crazy and start funding uh, with 17 star equips and uh, legendary items. That's something that's way over the board. Unless you're trying to hit 250, you don't really need to. All of these items are basically just simply 70% uh, traced and 10 starred and that should be good enough to carry you all the way to the end. Another thing I want to mention is where to get mule equips and ideally if you're doing bosses on your main you should be able to get CRA equips for all of your mules and these CRA equips are relatively cheap even in auction house they're like 10 to 20 mil so it's not too bad. And what you want to do for level 140 is just grab like a 140 item to use in the meantime. And then just scroll like a CRA weapon so you can use it once you're level 150. And you can also get the gloves, shoe, and cape from the Emperor sets that you see here. And you can basically get them for, again, very cheap and just use these items. As for shoulders and... Uh, other face and eye accessories, you can use silver blossom ring, uh, condensed power crystals, and things of that sort. You can also use like a Deacidus earring, which comes from Horntail. So you can also do Horntail for the pendant as well. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoy this video and want to see more content like this. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.